I'm not going to be buried at the cemetery. I don't want to be buried at the cemetery. All righty, Adam, thank you for our forecast. We're about to tell you why she said that. It was supposed to be a peaceful resting place for her family, but she says the cemetery conditions that she's referencing are anything but inviting. And so we've heard from that Urbana woman who said that she spent the last two years waiting for Woodlawn Cemetery to finish her father's gravesite. So she decided to visit on Memorial Day just on Monday and saw nothing change. So now she said she had enough. Our Ariana Williams will bring the story. There were so many stones out here that you just couldn't even read the stone at all. Deb Stoneball says pressure needs to be put on Woodlawn Cemetery in Urbana. A lot of these people are veterans. So uh, they're not just veterans, anyone out here. I think that they are not taking care of the cemetery the way they should. His stones are knocked down. Plots need to be filled and seated, including her father's. They tore my aunt and uncle's grave up when they went to bury my dad so that it looked like it was a brand new grave. We've made multiple complaints about that. That's still not been fixed or repaired. She says it was just this month when she took those complaints to the cemetery's office. I said, I don't care about the string trimming. I want the stones cleaned off. I want the graves backfilled and taken care of. I was told that they would take care of the graves last Thursday. And on Memorial Day, when she went to visit her dad, it wasn't done. And when we came out, we discovered that several of the stones out here were not only had grass on them, but totally covering the stones to the point of being illegible. Stoneball says she isn't calling Woodlawn out for her family alone, but for the other families with loved ones resting here. But there's somebody that passed in 1891. Do they have family that can speak for them still? That can say, my headstone's knocked over. I need to have this put back up because they're saying they won't do it unless they have a work order. So with that in mind, Deb said that she's fully prepared to take her complaints even higher if nothing is done in the near future. We've also here at Channel 3 tried to reach out to Woodlawn Cemetery. We have yet to hear back as of this report, 